guys, it's March. And if I'm correct when you were watching this, it may still be March. It might be the beginning of April. But what I do know is that I haven't even released all of the Christmas footage yet. I think I'm at about the halfway point. I think Flame has possibly joined me by the time you see these. I'm not positive. But I had to put a break in. I had to stop. I needed to show you my new trip back to Orlando. But you notice I said Orlando. I didn't say just Disney because I am heading back to explore both Mardi Gras and Flower and Garden. Now, the weather sounded like it was going to be amazing when I started all of my plans. And as of today, there's a big old rain slash ice storm coming in all over the East Coast. Um, it will just be rain down there, but oh, you know, possible tornado conditions and lots and lots and lots of rain. So I'm, I don't have boots that I'm packing. I'm packing two pairs of shoes, a sneakers that'll stay dry, and then um, sandals that will end up getting very wet, and then I will put on dry shoes when I can. It's going to be interesting. Second day is going to be chilly. It's not ideal weather. Uh, Flame, who you all remember, is joining me on this trip, sort of. She is over at our resort right now. We are going to stay on Universal property at Sapphire Falls. It's the first time that I've officially stayed there. I've eaten there, and I've taken the boat from there, but I haven't actually stayed there. So now I'm going to stay there. And uh, we're going to see what it's like. I've already seen some pictures of what the view from our room is, and hopefully I'll get to show you a tour. Now, my flight has been delayed because of that awful weather I was talking about, so I'm not even landing until tomorrow. Like around 12.30, maybe 1 o'clock. And then I have to get an Uber to get over to my, my hotel. So, I'm not exactly sure how long this is going to take. Wish me luck. Um, that being said, we have so much fun and so much excitement wonderful things to explore, uh, all kinds of gluten-free foods and goodies to try, and yeah, let's make some magic. So, um, we are at the airport. We are in the back corner of the airport. Uh, they changed our gate. Originally, we were going to be in the B terminal. We're now in the A terminal at A15 at the very end. Oh, it's interesting, there's a raw bar down at the end here, but because all the flights are delayed, it's packed because it's a bar too. Um, and I would have checked it out, but it's a little too crowded. And I've been thought about going all the way back down to Vino Volo and getting something there, but even there the bar was pretty crowded. It's, it's a Friday night and people are traveling again. They just are. So. The flight was originally going to take off at 9.55. It is now going to take off at 10.26, supposedly. And it is 8.49, so... Yeah. Um, I already got my room number. By the time I, I post this, you guys will already... It'll be, I'll be gone from there, so it's 28.18 in our resort, which you will see. Uh, Flame has enjoyed the resort. She actually hit the parks to say, today and said it really wasn't very crowded, except around the Mardi Gras floats. Um, yeah, so, so it's going to be a, a gluten-free food extravaganza weekend. Uh, we have the Flower and Garden Festival in amongst the raindrops or downpours. We're not sure what it's going to be yet at Epcot. We have flying fish for dinner. We have Ohana for breakfast. Yeah, I know this is a Universal trip, I promise. And then uh, we're going to be back at Universal to try all the Mardi Gras foods. And depending on how much food is there, we may have a sit-down dinner somewhere else. Or we may do quick service at the resort and see what that's like, because I haven't tried it before. Um, if you have questions about the resorts, things you want to know, things you'd like me to share for you, please let me know. Put them in the comments. Let me, let me know what I can bring for you. Um, my next big trip after this one is actually going to be on the far coast. We will be heading over to Disneyland. At least that's the intent. And uh, we will have a new traveling companion for you guys. I've traveled with the person before, but this will be new for me. Or for you. You see, with, you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, so we've got a lot of, a lot of great opportunities, a bunch of options. It was actually, and, and while well, this is the wrong location we're going to, you know, tell me for Disneyland, are there any restaurants you would like me to try while I am there? Um, 
I can tell you I'm probably going to try Carthay Circle again and the Trattoria in, there. But we're there for four days, so we've got a good chunk of time to try stuff on property. We will have a car with us. Um, and we do have park tickets for four days. And then the last day, um, I don't know what my flight out time is going to be, but it's probably going to be early so that I can get back into everything I need to do. But, you know, so, so there's a good chunk of time there and places I could try and things I could do. So let me know what you want me to try. Let me know what you want me to show you because this would be the perfect time for me to start planning for it. We're on the plane. People are still boarding. Every single seat is going to be taken. Every single seat. Every single seat. So, um, I'll try to get you some footage along the way here. 1040. Originally, we were supposed to take off at 955. So, I think we're going to be at least a half an hour delayed, possibly more. So, I was going to land at 1215. It'll probably be 1245. Luckily, all I have to do is get downstairs so I can go organize an Uber and get to my hotel. I know where the room is. She's already in it. It looks so beautiful. I can't wait to go check it out. And I hope you guys are ready for an adventure. Are they several minutes? don't have a captain. We're already turning off our electronics and we don't have a captain. It's 10.38. We're about to be an hour late. We were supposed to leave at 10.26. The delayed flight time is 10.26. Then the dog. Now the captain. Please like this video. Please. I'd appreciate it. Waiting 
for their luggage. But we have it all with us because it's only for a weekend. So let's go get our Uber so we can go home. Okay, Uber has been called. We are about uh, six minutes away from him showing up. I'm trying to get, sorry, out of some other people's ways who are getting in and out right now. But, um, since it's only one of me, we landed at 1.57, it is 2.10. I'm already outside waiting for the Uber, and like I said, hold on a sec, I'll tell you. He will be here in seven minutes, so. And I should be at the resort, because it is a closer resort. Yeah. I don't know. Hmm. Um, but I will be there, like, I think it's at 2.39, so maybe 2.40ish, something like that. Half an hour from now, that's about right. Uh, obviously, no, not much traffic right now. And, yeah. And then we'll get up. I know where the room is. I'm gonna message her and let her know that I'm on my way so she can be ready. It's time to begin the trip, guys. I probably won't be able to do the tour of the room this week or on this video, uh, or I might combine this because I don't know how much actual content is gonna be here. But uh, if I haven't done so already, please remember to like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. Go ahead and share this with people if you think it'll help them. If they're coming out to Flower and Garden or they're coming out to Mardi Gras and you wanna know what's appropriate to be gluten free or just what the experience is like now it was crowded one of the uh, terminal the uh, monorails over there were not, was not running so it's yeah it's a little special right now but that's where we are let's go travel off to our hotel there's aventura the bar there's a rooftop bar there you can sort of see it at the top it's called bar 17. Oh. it is Beautiful, 360 glass views around the entire thing. De bizarre but decent drinks and actually really good small bites. Like really yummy small bites. Yeah. That was almost painless coming off of this. And those are the buses to Volcano Bay that look like little Hawaiian things. And we've got Cabana Bay over here. All exciting. And then, there's Aventura. Hello, Aventura. And then we're going to head into Sapphire Falls right next to it. Up. Yes. Drop off Michelle. Why, thank you. <laughs> because you might not have remembered to do that part. <laughs> Look, we finally made it. Yay. There's nobody here, because it's 3 a.m. Oh my goodness. All right, so as far as I know, the directions, so down that stairwell over there is where Amatistas was. I haven't looked, oh, this might be strong waters. Okay, so that's the bar. So if we want to look at a bar later, we can do that. It's after midnight, so everything's closed. In fact, the clean. Oh, that's awesome. She looks like a ghostbuster. Because she's got it on her back. That's awesome. So that's the pool that Flame spent yesterday at. And if I'm lucky, I will get a few minutes at it tomorrow in the morning. But that means I have to get up really, 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 really early because I'm going to sleep really, 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 really late. I think I remember the this one. It's very pretty. So we walked through, and I'm really digging the carpets here. It's all blues. Elevators. Okay, well, that's good to know. You come in at the fourth floor, and we're gonna go up to the eighth floor. Here we go. Look, it's us. I'm going up to the top floor. I had asked for a high floor, uh, just because I love the views when you get a high floor. And we are in room 2818. <sighs> and this lovely warm outfit I'm wearing, yeah, it's gonna have to go away because it's like 70 something today. And those 70s are gonna go away at like noon tomorrow. But it's 3 a.m., so let's be quiet. 
has a pretty view. Okay. And that's Cabana Bay across the way in our pool below. Let's go find our room. And luckily, it should be pretty close. I like the hallway. I like blue a lot. This is like Portofino. Okay. Look, this is our view. It was all worth the flight with the woman from hell and her puppy dog. And the pilot who was far, far away. Not to be confused with Shrek far, far away because both Shrek's no longer in the parks. But it's pretty, so that's I drive in the distance over there. And then the boat we pick up over there in the morning to take to the park, and it's so peaceful. Isn't this lovely? And the water is moving. And it's after 3 a.m. and I am deliriously tired, which means I won't sleep. But we're on the eighth floor, we're on the top floor, and it's beautiful. And there's a bar on the first floor, and we will go there. I'm not sure if I'm putting this before or after I put the sign out, but here you go. At this point, guys, this is when I'm going to say goodnight, because Flame's probably already asleep, and I need to let her do that. So if you haven't done so already, please remember to like this video and hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you. Um, I don't have a tagline. Singing hey ho, a maiden's life, one, two, three. Hey ho, a maiden's life, won't you drink with me?